Oh, you know, the same. <laughs> Where is Carol? 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 Oh, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Say, is that my hat in baseball? Can we play with it, please? Play with it? Well, I never. My daughter, the athlete. <laughs> Say, honey, how's dinner coming in? Could oh. you fix me a martini? Oh, of course. Now, I know baseball seems fun, but what do you say we leave it for the boys and pick up a good book instead? <laughs> Here's your martini. Oh, thank you. And for dinner tonight, we're having chicken, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Oh, again? <laughs> <laughs> and the wardrobe, but, but I thought that only spiders and moths lived in wardrobes. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it's all about imagination, Sweet Pea. Why don't you give it a shot? I have a feeling it's more than it seems. I'm home. Daddy! Carol, your hair. What happened to it? Did you go to the zoo today? Hmm. Were you in a cage? Are you secretly a little monkey daughter? Well, because no daughter of mine would have that hair. <laughs> and your mother, what was she doing during all this time? Just lounging around in the sun, letting my daughter wear her hair like that in some cage like a poor monkey? What do you do, do all day? Dinner's ready. Honey, I'm home. Ta-da! Oh, well, those wouldn't be for me, would they? Roses for my rose. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? You're welcome. I didn't. Thank you. Uh, Carol, sweetie, look at what your father brought me. Aren't they beautiful? Carol? Carol? Okay, let's put this book away for now. Carol, honey, are you not feeling well? Oh my goodness, you're burning up. I'll get you some medicine. Where? What? Jimmy, it's right here. You bring the case? What? Jimmy, what is this? It's empty. <gasps> That's not your line. What's going on? Are you two playing some sort of... Practical joke on me? <laughs> you got me! <laughs> what? What is going on? Smile, honey. Get away from me! Is dinner ready, Mommy? Dinner's ready. Get away from me!
stay back. There's nothing to worry about, dear. You're safe. Come in. Come in. Now put that knife down. That's it. Sit down. Can I offer you something to drink? Perhaps a, a water? A, a martini? No, thank you. All I want is to help my family. Please, do you know what's wrong with them? It's hard to explain, but I assure you they are fine. You have nothing to worry about. How can you say that? You didn't see them the way they were acting, their, their, their faces, their voices. You didn't see that. You're going to have to trust me. Your family it is fine. And I'm going to make sure that nothing can harm them. I'm so sorry. I, I'm not normally like this. I, I, I didn't mean to barge in on you and <laughs> without any shoes on. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy could see me now. <laughs> oh, oh, hush now. You weren't interrupting me. I was expecting you. You were? Yes. Yes, I was. Oh, you look so confused. But stay calm. Now, there's one thing I wanted to talk to you about. You see, you gave Carol this. How did you get that? Well, this is just a little too much for her, her little brain. All this information, well, it, it just might make her head explode. Excuse me, but I think I know what's best for my daughter. Oh, you do, do you? Do you know what school your daughter goes to? <laughs> yeah, she goes to... Listen, I would just very much like to know what is happening with my family. Your family? Well, what about good old Jimmy, huh? Good old handsome Jimmy. Do you even know where Jimmy goes to work? I, I don't see how that's any of your business. What does your yard look like, huh? The sky. Or the sound of Jimmy's car coming up the driveway every day, perfectly timed with your dinner is ready. Oh, this. I'm just making a few notes for our next episode. I think it's about time for a costume change, hmm? And that dress. Wow. It could look so much more exciting. That's it. I'm leaving. You may want to hear my offer before you do that. Offer? What offer? Nancy, let me be frank. We can talk like adults, can't we? Swell. This is a television studio. And your family, our number one hit, when your programming actually follows the lines of the script, that is. <laughs> now you might imagine when my fragile little star begins to act up and my number one hit can't even film a clear take. I can get impatient. What is this? Some kind of sick form of entertainment for you? My family, those, those voices I kept hearing, watching me squirm. Voices you hear? You must know how that sounds. That's it. I'm done. I don't have to keep playing your sick, sadistic game anymore. F*** you! That work hasn't been programmed into your software. What are you talking about? I Here's the deal, Mrs. Davis. You either compose yourself and say the damn lines, or I will shut you down without a second thought. You will be replaced by the end of the day, and no one will notice that you're even gone. You're a pretty penny, and I'd rather not. But I will without a second thought. You will never see your family again. Someone else will clean for them.
Someone else will pat Carol's hair and kiss Jimmy. <laughs> and you, you will be in the dumpster. Rusty. So, my dear, what's it gonna be? Dinner's ready. Sweetheart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's this for? Well, that is for playing baseball with your daughter. Baseball with my daughter? Well, oh, no offense, sweetie, but oh, an upstanding gentleman like myself would never What were you saying? Hey, champ. Want to toss the ball around? Really? Yeah, let's go. Yay. Come on. 